Hello everyone, I welcome back to another demo video and today we're gonna talk about how to spend your Colosseum vouchers because Colosseum is ending with the announcement and season 25 will end early, it was supposed to end on the 8th of July, it's gonna end on the 17th of June instead so a bit early and that's because we're getting a new Colosseum which is gonna be a weekly dungeon where you had the information in Kerimo so you can check out the video but right now if you have lots of coins saved and you don't know what to spend it on because when you get the new Colosseum you won't be able to spend your coins so you have to spend it right now so in this video we'll be showing you what's gonna be the best ways to spend your seasonal, monthly and weekly vouchers starting off with the monthly vouchers because this is the most easy and straightforward one you go for option stone again most straightforward one there is just no better alternatives here your best usage for the monthly always been option stone and it's actually a pretty generous amount one monthly equals three unfortunately the new uh, colosseum will have some good rewards some stuff that, that are even better than this and come when it comes to option stone unfortunately it's getting a bit of a nerf so we are gonna be getting less options stone from colosseum which is kind of sad but for now the wrong number yeah there we go that's gonna be a lot of options in stone there we go, 500 of the stone just like that, of course. If you have more or less, it's still, still a decent amount. Now, when it comes to weekly, it's a bit harder because usually what we spend on weekly is gonna be your jogger ship and the suit or the slim fit school uniform. These are the two main things I get, but of course, we'll be able to get the jogger ship and even cross ship from the new Colosseum, so there's no problems when it comes to that, and we can't even stack those. So there is no point in getting them. I think the best thing, the best two things here is gonna be ironically the backup discs and memory skills, but personally I don't like memory skills. How many would that get me? I could get 38 skill memory skills 152. That's not a bad amount, but you know what? I think the best way to spend your weekly is gonna be backup discs. Honestly, because you don't get a lot of backup discs elsewhere. Uh, I guess from the Gankumon dungeon, basically on the other side, the Gankumon dungeon. But you usually want to do it on the clone day, on Friday, or like Friday after reset for me. Not sure what time it is for you guys. So I think Saturday. I don't know, but usually just you just do the clone for Gankumon. And I think here you might want to get backup discs. So probably the best thing to get. In my opinion, are gonna be either backup discs or capsule or reset capsules, but I think I think backup discs are slightly better. And I guess there is the memory skills. This is a bit sus because it's RNG. You can like this is how I built my support Digimon, but this is luck based. Like, you can spend your vouchers on this and still not get anything good because it's random. So personally, I'm not fan of RNG stuff. So for me, backup disc it is. I'm just I'm not gonna spend all of them. Just gonna spend. I don't know, 50 and that's 150 backup discs, which is very good. So for me, I'm, I will be getting backup discs for sure. You can, I guess, get some avatar boxes if you want to like save some of those. Uh, personally, I used to use avatars before I got my hand on the permanent clothes from the battle pass. So if you don't have those, personally, I used to use the avatar. Uh, technically, the ones from the Holy Beast dungeons are better, but they're timed also. So you need like either to buy them every month or or buy them with Terra every month, or do uh, do the dungeons a lot, or use the charge of energy, which is something I don't like, so I usually just use the avatar box from Colosseum, that's easier, so if you don't want to bother with doing like desert, que desert quests for the boots or whatever, you can get some avatar boxes, but personally, backup disc discs it is, because I already have permanent clothes. And lastly, for the seasonal, this one is probably the hardest one because there's just a lot of stuff. Digimon Evolution, this is where we kind of get into the good stuff. Gala for 120 is not too bad now. If you don't have the Burst Ultimate Twinkies Dig buff, then this, if you have enough, then I think you should get Gehenna from here. Temporary Equipment, honestly, the best thing to buy is the Luxury Black Formal Dress because it's, I think it's tradable, but we also can save it, unlike the suits, like this is probably the best avatar in the game. It's gonna start running out the moment you craft it, so you can't really save it but you can save this which is basically the exact same as little soccer you can get a few like for personal i can get six of this which is pretty nice i was saving for the ot device eventually but unfortunately because i'm ending right before i was gonna get it like two seasons or so i would have gotten it but yeah it's unfortunate especially exchange this is where you can get, go for terra so all of these things that you can see are tradable so you i guess can get a spirit or high memory capsules but again it's luck based like if you get this and then you happen to get hand of feeling three or 
Tree of Life through you. I mean, high, then yeah, cool, that's a lot of money, but again, it's luck based. Growth Fruit also can be sold. I don't know if you hope buys Growth Fruit in 2024, but I guess it's can. It's something that you can sell. Personally, there is a Gehenna for 250, which is a lot. I'm sure a lot of you don't have 250 vouchers lying around, but I do, which means that is free tradable Gehenna. So this one for 250 is tradable, which means I can just go ahead and sell it. There you go, people selling it for 400 Terra, so I'm gonna put it for 400 Terra, and for me that is a free 400 Terra, which is pretty good. So yeah, now again, if you don't have that much if you don't have 250 saved honestly going for actually wait 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 now getting for, for going for this might not be good because this thing this thing is dirt cheap and you can get the lusaka and stuff from the new coliseum so don't go for this ironically the spirits even try and, and sell it i guess or the have your skills if you have enough if you don't have enough i honestly don't know what to get like i had more seasonal vouchers saved because i generally don't think there is anything insane to spend on it maybe this i guess ironically going for lots of burning red light of life if you have less than 40 then this might be good like for 10 that's a thousand if you have like 30 for example that's 3k 7.5k heals which is not terrible so yeah i guess this is the second best option or arguably might even be better than going for vouchers so better than going for like uh, any of the stuff in the special kitchen so yeah there you have it very excited for the new colosseum uh the new the old colosseum i will miss the reward but i will not miss doing it because it kind of got bored boring for me so yeah with that thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure you have a like on uh, subscribe for more and more content i'll see you guys in the next video